Good morning, everybody. I'm morning meteorologist Katie Garner. Hey, we're monitoring not one, not two, but three areas in the tropics, one of which is a hurricane, Hurricane Gabrielle. And I know your big question is, what does it mean for Florida? There are no direct impacts to land here in Florida. Now, part of the U.S. East Coast could see some rip currents and swells, but I tell you, I'm really watching Bermuda. This is set to rapidly intensify into a major Category 3 hurricane as early as tonight. Bermuda will also have hazardous surf and rip currents. It's something we're watching. It's moving north-northwest at 10 miles an hour, so it's a slow mover. So that's Hurricane Gabrielle. Okay, then we've got tropical disturbance number one. Now let me tell you what we know about this per the National Hurricane Center. This is in the central tropical Atlantic. This is producing really limited convection west-southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands. And listen, conditions are currently dry, but they're expected to become a little more favorable midweek. There is a 60% chance development in the next seven days, and it could become a tropical depression. The second disturbance is uh, going to likely keep producing disorganized showers and thunderstorms. And it's gonna make this slow, slow turn more northwestward later this week. 30% chance of development in the next seven days could bring gusty winds and showers to the leeward islands late today into tomorrow. So that's a look at all three systems that we're monitoring. Again, one of which is a hurricane. Stay with me on News for Jax and newsforjax.com. I've got the latest. You don't have to worry until I do. And am I worried? Not yet.